You were snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact, whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Hey guys, Woodward's back. Here is sequence two, the very beginning. That was the end of sequence one right there. So let's get right to it. Right to it. Dear sister, Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself, but none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Nicolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. So, SEO's writing to his sister. Beginning of sequence two, part one. This is the first time you'll see the city that you get to explore in this game. Constantinople. Or Nopole, as the Italian guy says it. And we're just gonna have another cutscene and let's see it's watch. Magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me, or uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were, were mainly. Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bea Fendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardem at the Belir, Mimi Fendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Kaldin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. 
Ezio Auditori de La La La. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Kazim Da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. So I was planning to split it up right here into a few videos, so it's going to take a while for me to actually start this mission. But this is Constantinople. This is the city that you're going to be touring for most of the campaign, I believe. And, you know, pretty much learn more about those two people that you saw, the girl who was ca carrying the stuff and the um, scholar guy. You'll learn more about them later in the game. And Yusuf Tazim is a... He's an assassin leader of Istanbul, or Constantinople. Welcome to Galata District. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guessing likely. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out of pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your Holy Land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. So the you learn a lot about, about these guys. Library. Just kind of <laughs> follow <laughs> this guy. Stand close enough to me to just keep on walking. No, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And the Sultan Bayez is on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one, two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan coughs, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Fight these two guys. Ezio, there. And keep on. No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead. As are you. The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins had a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there.
this way. So I just keep following him and following him and following him. And this is the assassin's hideout that you will most likely be traveling to every time you go there. And the video is coming to an end. So I'll catch you guys up on the rest in part two.